welcome back for another tips and tricks video brought to you by Absident and Acer. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at one of the latest and most exciting updates to come out of Google, and that is its new auto-saving feature in Forms. Now, the best thing about this is you do not have to do anything to activate this feature. It is already enabled in every single form you've previously created or any form you are creating new. But let's look at how it works. So on any form, I just click into it like normal, whether it's coming from classroom, a link in my email, a link online, I just open up the form and the ability to take it and I start answering the questions. Now let's say something happens. My device runs out of battery and shuts off. I accidentally refresh the page. The internet dies. Whatever it is that happens, my browser tab has gotten closed. I am no longer going to lose all of my hard work. All I have to do is click back into that form again. It will reopen and if you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see this pop up that says your progress has been restored. And now I can scroll through and I can see the questions I've already answered still have those original answers. And now I can continue through, continue answering the questions, pick up immediately from where I left off. I don't lose anything. Now, as far as forms usage, this brings a lot of new opportunities. You can have forms go over multiple days of experiments where they fill in a little bit every day and because it will save their progress, they can close it out, reopen it the next day, it's good to go. This will make it easier for open book tests or quizzes or check-in things because the students can leave it up. If it gets refreshed, they don't have to worry about it. They're not going to lose any of their progress. They can always come right back to where they were. But I know that we don't always want this to happen. Maybe you're giving a timed quiz or you want them to do something in one setting absolutely something you can still do. You can turn off that auto save feature for each form individually, and then it will force the completion in one sitting. This is super simple. All you have to do is go to your editing view of the form, go to your settings gear, and then change to presentation. Once you click into presentation, your final option down at the bottom is to disable autosave for all respondents. Once I tick that, it takes away the autosave features. I click save. And now you'll notice if I click into this again, it has erased all of my progress and I have to complete it in one sitting. Now, let's say I made a mistake, didn't mean to turn it off. I can come back in here Uncheck, uncheck the box, click save again, reopen the quiz, and it will once again restore my progress to what it was before I turned off the auto save. So you can go back and forth as many times as you want to for this. That auto save feature will work, it will turn on, it will turn off, and you can make it what you want it to be for each individual form. Now again, the autosave feature is automatically turned on for every new form created and every form you have previously created, so you don't need to do anything to start using it today. And it is incredibly easy to use on both your end as the creator and on the user's end because it requires no effort. So it is an extremely exciting option and I hope you go out, you explore, you enjoy the new autosave feature and go create lots of forms. We'll see you back next time for more tips and tricks.